Welcome to the second guide for the video production. In this guide we're going to look at the software for PC and we'll be using the Serif Movie Maker to complete the task. Again, like we did previously with iMovie, we've got a selection of files including some music, five images and three videos which we're going to import into the movie software to produce a final movie. Let's take a look. First of all, we'll open up the Serif Movie Plus and we're just going to start a new project. The very first thing to do is to understand the basic navigation. Again, like iMovie, we've got a timeline at the bottom. But slightly different here, the top right is where our media and our transitions and our effects are stored. And in the middle, but slightly to the left, is our video preview. Down the side, the tracks that we put into our timeline will be accessible from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is import all the media by clicking on import and navigating, in this case, to the desktop where I've kept all of my files. I'm going to import the audio, all of the images and all of the videos. And I can do this all at once. I hold the shift key to select all of the files within and I can press open. I'll then see my three videos, my five images and my piece of audio. Initially for the task we need to integrate the sound, the images and the videos to one complete set. And just like previously we can simply select the videos we want and drag them into our timeline. I'm going to go back to my media and I'm going to choose the five images that I also want to include and drag them down. And finally by going back to the media I'm going to select the audio and drag that into the audio timeline track. At this point, I've got a complete movie of all my elements and I can play that at any point to see how it runs. Now just like before, we might need to edit a few of the videos, the audio or the images. I'll start with the audio. I'm going to scroll to the very right, which has put the track length at about four minutes, and I'm simply going to pull that back until the very end of my visual clips. Now having done that, I might find that in a particular track, I don't actually want to listen to the audio. I can select that given audio track and I can hit mute. So that given part will no longer play. And now unmuting the audio that I overlaid on top, we'll have the images, the video, and the audio as required. Now just like before, I might find that there's a certain section that I want to actually cut out. I might find that in this particular video, I want to split it and remove a certain part. So I can right click at any point and hit split and again right click at another point where perhaps I want to end and click split. At that point if I wanted to my middle section could be right clicked and deleted. But for now I'm going to keep that all as one section. Well that's the basic part of the video with the images and the audio together. There are a few effects and transitions that I now might want to have a quick look at. As previous, I might find that my water section doesn't visually look the way I want it to. So I can select it and I can go to my adjustments and in this case I think I might change the colour. 
I think I might increase the temperature very slightly and the vibrance very slightly. Having edited the effects on my video with my images and my audio, I now might want to include some transitions and then at the end a title and a credit. To do that I go up to the galleries page and I check that I have transitions on. I've got a variety of transitions that I might choose and again I simply drag the transition to the place where I'd like it to go and I can drag through as many as I feel appropriate as I'm producing my video. And so playing that from the beginning, I can check what they look like. Here's my enhanced color video and I get a transition into my next. And again, for all transitions, I've got the ability to change the length of time that they're on for as well as a few other aspects for each individual transition. Finally, I think it would be quite nice to have some credits at the start and at the end. I might choose a title at the very beginning and I can put that in my overlay track and I can give it some text and I can change a variety of adjustments based on the colours the text that I'm after, as well as the size of the font. And I think I'll end on a credit. And that can include all the names of the people that I want to include, and that will scroll through. For now, I'll change one, but of course, there's a huge variety that I can do. Now I've edited that, and I do think at this point I would like my audio to go right to the very end of the credits. So I'll just extend and unmute. And so I can go back to my original video and have a quick preview. With our project, when we're pretty much happy, we might want to have a very final look at changing some of the images whereby we have some zoom in and out pans for some effects. Clicking on a particular image, we can go to the galleries and we can check for adjustments. When we get there, we can have the pan zoom function whereby we can zoom in to given areas. Dragging the adjustment over the top of the given image will allow you to zoom in and out on particular points. And so playing it through, will give us our chem burns. When I'm happy with the video, I just need to make sure that I save the project on a given location that I can find quite easily. And when I'm completely happy with it, I can hit export and I can again export as a file or to YouTube or to everywhere where I particularly feel appropriate. In this case I'm going to export it as an mp4 video. I'm going to keep all the attributes as suggested and again I'm going to pick a space to save my exported file and hit save. At this point, I can close down the task and I can shut down the program, keeping all changes as I do so. Well, I hope you found the guide useful, be it iMovie or Serif, or using a package within a tablet or a phone. Editing video is a relatively straightforward process that can really give some great outcomes.